commuting difficult? I used to only put 60, and now I put about 100. Crazy, crazy gas prices. Crazy gas prices indeed. As political tensions rise over Ukraine, we will feel the economic impact. That's the average of a gallon of regular gas, 353. The average in our area, let's take a look. New Jersey, $3.61. Connecticut next at $3.67. And the highest New York at $3.75. But as I went to Susan Porter, Marcus Solis discovered, the prices we found were much, much higher than that. I don't wanna scare people, but I think we could reach $7 a gallon. That may be a long-term projection, but already the effects of rising gas prices are being felt. It used to cost me about $50, $60. Now it's cost me like $60, $70. Right now I just pumped $74. The price of gasoline is the highest it's been since 2014, up 40% since last year. Crude oil is selling for nearly $100 a barrel. The U.S., which had become energy independent in 2019, has had a sharp decline in production, both because of the drop in demand during the pandemic and the Biden administration's limits on drilling. In addition, OPEC has yet to reach pre-pandemic production levels. Uncertainty surrounding Russia and Ukraine is another factor. We have a demand level that is exceeding production level. And until we see those lines getting back together where production level exceeds the demand level, then prices start to come down. High fuel prices lead to higher prices everywhere, from food to airfares, as airlines pass along the cost of jet fuel. Larry Gould services forklifts. He drives nearly 200 miles a day and is feeling the pain at the pump. It's been creeping up. It's been, every time you go, it's, it's it goes up every, I don't know, a couple of cents every time I get gas. So. It affects my customers because I got to raise my rates. They got to pay me. Experts say even if the U.S. ramps up production, it could take months before prices drop, meaning the sticker shock is likely to continue during the peak driving months of the summer.